All right, so we're ready to begin installing our insulation and I want to prepare a first piece. Now, because insulation will go at an angle, we need to cut an edge. So I have my angle measurement measuring tool and it's actually the correct angle right here. So we're going to put a two inch board on the outside and a three inch board on the inside. So we don't have to cut the three inch board. We can just stop the fiberglass in the gap. Okay, I also have my chalk line, my tape and my pencil as well as my insulation cutting line. Okay, so first thing what, that we need to do is measure the actual angle at which we're going to cut. So I put this here, I'll show you, just like so. I align it correctly, right here and right here. Okay, so now we get our measurement and it is Two and seven eight of an inch. So I just do the same here. For the mark. Now I do a chalk line and this bed edge we're just going to cut it off so it's no problem. And we can actually use this measurement from the next board so we don't have to do the angle to again. So now the cutting is the most time consuming and complicated part of this. So we need to cut. All right. Our insulation is cut at an angle and we are ready to start installing it. Let's go. All right, uh, before we begin installing it, there's one more thing to do, actually a couple of things. So first of all, we need to cut the length, to change the length. So we have 90 and a quarter inch length and this board is 96 inches, it's 8 feet. <clears throat> so we need to cut it shorter. And now, again, because we're doing a sandwich, we also need to prepare our 3 inch board that will go behind this 2 inch. Right, and uh, one last thing that we do need to, to do is uh, we have our cross beams 
that will intersect with this piece of insulation. So we have to accommodate for that. And to do that, we have to trim a little bit off of this. Here we have our piece. This will go on first and then we'll install a two inch board on top. So let me pause right here and we will go inside and I'll show you how it's done. All right, so now we're inside and you see this is where I'm putting our insulation. So these notches that I cut here, right here, therefore that cross beam so we don't hit it. All right, so let's put in the three inch piece. All right. And as you can see, it's completely flush right here. So it's a very tight fit and a good measuring job. Let me just zoom in so you can see better. Right there. And right there it's very well measured okay and now let's put our next board now again remember we we're cutting the bottom of it at an angle so this angle will go right here So now we know that our bottom piece should end right here and I draw a line along the beam so I can see that it's tight enough and deep enough. Okay, same thing here. We know that it's got to end right here. And we will use four screws to hold that piece in place because later we will use our furniture strips right here and run them vertically and then we'll know where to mount our plywood or not plywood, our drywall and this will actually make it tight against the wall. So for now we're just going to hold it in place with four screws. This is temporary and I'm using this improvised aluminum plates to do that. So we're here for plates, for screws. Or better yet, Now 
All right, let's put this second piece on. So next, I will install more boards, get all the way to the top, and then we're going to run our bottom piece right across here, so we can attach the bottom of the drywall, and we'll run our vertical pieces 16 inches on center, starting at the edge, and then space them out, so we can attach our drywall or in the kitchen we'll do tongue and groove board to give it a wood look and to preserve the old look of this uh, <clears throat> post and beam wooden boards all right thanks for watching this was leo with remodeling calculator and we're doing a project of insulating our post and beam home insulating the roof because there's absolutely zero roofing insulation and all the heat is escaping so uh, I did a previous video on this, just going over the project, but now you see how it's done in reality. And I'll be making more videos when we start doing more work as far as like attaching these boards. Now these boards will actually make it tight. The four plates and screws that I put here, this is just basically to tack it on so it doesn't move. So it's easier for me to work later. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel also if you need to calculate costs of remodeling or insulation projects or everything around the house, roofing, siding, kitchens, bathrooms. Go to our website remodelingcalculator.org, link in the description below. See ya!